Psalms chapter 9, verse 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forgot the power of Yahweh Shem El Shah. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor should not perish forever. Oh, I mean, arise, O oh Lord Yahweh Shem El Shah. Let man, let not man prevail. Let the heathens be judged in thy sight. Put the fear, we put them in fear, O Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah, that the nations always know themselves to be but men. Salah. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim Akakwadash, the Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah, for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki and preaching the word of sincerity and truth for being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. What is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID trip is the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chair is the Lord. Nothing up the whole full act. Into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens, rightfully so. Yeah, um, man, you know, as usual, just going through the scriptures, you know, feeding the spirit, you know, and, um, yeah, this is going to be amazing, right? It's going to be amazing and epic and dynamic. It's never going to be forgotten how the Lord is going to get us up out of here. And um, change the power from one hand to another. And he has never forgotten us. You know? <sighs> we did the Lord Yahweh Hashem El wrong. So the Lord has forgiven the whole for elect, the needy, the poor. But you two thirds are going to get it too, though. To the spirit of Yahweh El Shah. Just like the heathens, the other nations. The Lord gonna get y'all too. So you know, I just reading some scriptures, and you know, I guess this this topic right here, I just see where these um, verses could lead us. Um, well, I was looking at this word hell. Um, Shaul, H seventy um seventy five verse. 7585 that's the that's the heat that's the um Hebrew the next um the strong accordance all right and it says you know they go to a lot of bullshit but um I picked this one because it makes it's, it fits the topic all right let's see if this is it um um let's see extreme degree the extreme of the extreme degradation in sin let's see um let me see if this is um because um because we are we are um we are in this situation because we sin we this is prison all right this is prison we in all right degradation degradation sorry degradation all right degradation all right, it says right here, the meaning for degradation. The condition or process of degrading or being degraded. A condition or process. Let's read that. Let's say that again. The condition or process of degrading or being degraded. We have been degraded, okay? We are being, we've been degraded and we are being degraded. Come on, being under this fucking, this captivity right here, this is degraded. Being put in slave ships, being our children taken away from us, that's degraded. So this is a condition we was put in. Of being degraded. Alright. So. It's going to be amazing. How we're going to be taken out of this situation. And put into a high, into a higher seat. It's going to be amazing. How the Lord is going to take all these other nations. And put them down. It's going to be amazing. Because the other nations. Has forgotten the power. Yahweh So the Lord is going to deal with them. Alright. So. The Lord is not going to forget us. All right, let's see something here. All right, the Lord, he ain't forget the he ain't forget what um what the wicked has done to us. 
Alright. So don't worry, people. We good. Alright, the wicked shall shall be turned into hell. Alright, Psalm chapter 9, verse 17. The wicked shall be turned into turned into hell. And all the nations that forgot Yahweh Al Shah. That's right. The Lord ain't the Lord you, the Lord's gonna make you give you a rude awakening. Okay. All right, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, um, cause you, the same thing goes for the two thirds too. Okay, Jeremiah chapter thirteen, verse twenty-five. This is thy lot, the portion of thy measure. From me, say the Lord, Yahweh Shemayim because thou hast forgotten me. And trust and falsehood, and that's what happened. That's why we are. That's why we put in in that hell. This condition, this degrading, okay, degradation. If that, if I'm pronouncing it right again, all right. That's why we was put into this position because we forgot Yahweh Shemuel Shah. All right, let's hear it again. Salakia. Let's hear it again. Degradation. Degradation. All right. The condition or process of degrading or being degraded. We have been degraded by Yahweh Shemuel Shah because we disobeyed him. All right. So for doing with this, Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 25. This is the lot. This is thy lot. The lot of our, our, our condition. The portion of thy measure. The Lord poured a big portion on us. From me, say the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, because thou hast forgotten me. We have, the, the, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shah is raising up the whole elect, but the two-thirds, they forgot about Yahweh Shem Shah. And trust and falsehood. This fucking place, man. Need I say more, man? All right, let's see what else we can get here. All right, um, yeah, look at that, man. This is, the scriptures is everlasting. All right, um, all right, let's go, let's go back. Let's try to get, let's try to get a preset for each verse we got right here. All right, um, this is Psalm chapter 9, verse 18. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. And we the needy, the ex because we we not the Lord's not gonna forget us. The expectation of the poor should not perish forever. We are the poor. We're not gonna perish forever. Cause this world got everything it wants. We don't have anything. Okay. The little things it doesn't matter. All right, let's go into this one. The ex All right, I was going. Let me see. Let's go back. The expectation. All right, expectation. All right. Um. Yeah, the expectation. All right, how you say this? Ta. Va ta qua ta. Ta salaki. I'm still off a little bit. How to pronounce my words when it comes to the the paleo to try to remember these um. The Syrian. What is H? 8615. Tavah. Takwa is where it says code, hope, expectation, hope, a ground of hope, things, hope for outcome. The outcome, the expectation, our, our, the, expe the outcome of our expect expectation, our outcome, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be what we're looking forward to. The, um, the hope that's coming, the hope that we have and what is to come. We're amazing. Alright. Psalm chapter 9, verse 18. For the needy should not always be forgotten. 
the expectation of the poor should not perish forever. It's not going to be perish forever. We're going to always, we're going to get ours. The Lord's giving us back what's ours. Alright, this is Proverbs. Look at this. Mm, powerful. Um, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 14. So should the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul when thou hast found it. Then there shall be a reward and the expectation should not be cut off. This knowledge of wisdom, Yahweh Shem is going to be it's, it's going to heal us. It's healing ourselves. When, when we got into this, we got we healed ourselves. And it's not. It's it's so dynamic too because the the, the um the apostles talk about here um um nerve, I mean, um smoothies and um you know taking the right herbs and doing all the things righteously. Finding out what the Yahweh Shemuel Shah needs you to do, not what you want to do. Because you got to choose life, and the life is in the scriptures. Back to that word expectation. It's never gonna be cut off. It's gonna we're gonna we're gonna have everything we need. And everybody's gonna remember what the hell they did wrong to the apostles and the disciples and all the all the Akiam and Akia and and, and, the, and the one third man, woman, and children, they're gonna remember what they did to them. And you're gonna be paid back for it. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 18 Surely there is an end And thy expectations should not be cut off Surely there's an end to our hell Our desecration This bullshit we in this, this, um, this torment and this torture This is torture This condition we in is a torture Wow, that was the spirit right there. Alright. Um oh yeah. Alright. Verse um Psalm chapter nine, verse nineteen. Arise, O Lord, let 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 not man prevail. Let the heathens be judged in thy sight. And this is this is also part of our expert. This will be this is the outcome of things we want to hum to hope for, that we're hoping to happen. We need these things to happen. Because we tired of this fucking cesspool. So we need the Lord to disappoint them. We need the Lord to run down on them. Alright. Um, Isaiah chapter 42 verse 13 The Lord should go forth As a mighty man He should stir up jealousy Like a man of war He should cry Yea roar He should prevail against his enemies And that's what That's what, that's our expectation That's what we owe for that's, the, that's, what we, that's what we need That's the outcome of righteousness That's what should come We got something beautiful coming. This fucking place is, I hate this place. You know, I hate these bum ass nigga motherfuckers. These motherfuckers that don't want to do right. You look at them, they ain't shit. And they mad. They mad as hell. Um, Psalm chapter 9, verse 20. Put them in the. Put. Put them in fear, O Yahweh Bashimel Shah, that the nations may know themselves to be men, but men. It's a lot. That's right. You ain't nothing but men. Nothing. You ain't nothing. 
rare, just, just, um, just regular citizens of the earth who, who be, be in need because you beneath, you slaves, you got, you got slaves, you're the nations. You're the nations are slaves. Because we are gods to you. Okay? We have, you'll be the true living powers, sons and heirs of the throne. All right. Yeah. I guess that's it. Let's read this verse one more time. Bring it home. I um this is Psalm for the nine verse twenty. Put them in fear, O Yahweh Shemel Shah, that the nations may know themselves to be but men, Salah. And that's what you are, a bunch of men. And we're gonna have everything. And you're gonna watch us have everything. And you're gonna worship us. And we're gonna show you how to worship the king. Yahweh Shemel Shah. And with that, all prayers and honor and glory go to be Yahweh Shemel Shah. Yahweh Shemel Shah. The water of Yahweh Shemel Shah. For giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstones. Deserve the honors. Shalom to the Aki. Shalom.